I understand if there was to be a behind the music about Drowning Pool, some of the hot tensions would come down sometime around football playoff season. Is this? Yeah. Is this? <laughs> yeah, you know, outside of music, like the only thing any of us really care about is football. So mm -hmm. it, during the fall touring, when we're touring, it, it gets pretty uh, pretty heated, but. You well, know, we got to concede to the Saints. They they won it all this year. So uh, Mike and my let them team. have their moment. Go ahead. Mike. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> well, well, Stevie, God. let's open up. But Stevie, who is just you know giving it up to the Saints, is a Cowboys fan. So oh, yeah. this is a bit of a there's a painful. I can see the pain on your face. Well, there. the thing about it is, I'm glad they won the Super Bowl because for the rest of our lives, anytime they say they won the Super Bowl, I can say yeah, but we beat y'all that year. So. There you go, and, oh, and wow. then you can right. say, got to bring it down." And then <laughs> the Vikings beat Dallas, and we beat the Vikings. Yeah, but uh, we, we beat y'all all day. We could y'all won the Super Bowl, but did you beat the Cowboys? This could go. No, we will. There's a lot of Saints fans out there that probably would have beaten the, the Cowboys. Every time the Cowboys, the Cowboys, the Cowboys won the Super Bowl, they had an undefeated season. I don't think the Cowboys have ever lost a game in the. 40 something, 40 it's kind of a dilemma years. for me because I live in Dallas <laughs> I now. I just ignore this. Yeah. New Orleans. <laughs> and so, yeah, so you're a Dallas fan. You're, you're caught. caught. I mean, I and see, what I understand, Ryan, you're similar to me in the sense that both our teams suck. I'm a Chiefs fan. You're a Browns fan, correct? Uh, yeah, but your team, team's on the right direction. Well, good well, thing about, one good thing about you're, the Chiefs you're the New England is that Patriots when the Patriots of franchise Midwest. started, they were the Dallas Texans. Right. So, so, so I like the Chiefs. So it's all right. They're all right. Right. But at the same time, we're sort of liberated from all this smack talk because we just suck. Right. And so it's like you just sit back and go, <laughs> you guys get all tense and pissed off all you want. We just sit hey, back Ryan, and go, you whatever. Your problem with the Chiefs? Why you don't like them? They, they remind me of ketchup and mustard. Yeah, our colors kind of <laughs> suck, don't they? It's, like it's a place. little bit rough. <laughs> and that's going from somebody. That's going from somebody whose team is orange and brown. Orange yeah, brown. Well, I like your colors though. I like the old school Browns uniforms, but there you go. Um, new album. New album's coming out April twenty seventh. That's new awesome. Self-titled. <laughs> it's self-titled. It's called Drowning Pool. We can't miss it. it says Drowning Pool on it. it says Drowning Pool. Is that what your guys' name is? Is that what? No, it's gonna, we're going to change it for this record. It's <laughs> yeah. called Drowning Pool. I was thinking, actually, if we would have thought about it a little bit more, it should have been Drowning Pool, the self-titled album. The self-titled album. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great time. Like, like Spaceballs, the flamethrower. Right. Spaceballs, the movie. What do you like to do in your downtime when you don't have to do these radio gigs and... We watch uh, NFL Network on the bus. Okay, so football really is just it. Yeah. Football yeah, and music. The draft is coming up for the so. draft. Yeah, yeah I know. My, I got a draft coming too. We're, we're at the top here. Yeah. We, we're yeah, excited about top. our we're draft. I'm, I'm so surprised to be there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, over and over again. We have the top five picks. This is fantastic. So it's better than the mediocre though. When you're eight and eight all the time. Right. Right, if you're like no the good. Houston Texans and you, you never really... Jaguars. Yeah, 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 that's no good. So, what's, uh, what do you guys want to do after you get uh, done with this album tour? And Do you want to go to Fiji or do you want to... Do we just want to keep writing songs? Yeah, just keep, just like keep plugging, weird, huh? I like, actually love our job. You know, i got to say, you, you very, um, very one of the few bands that survive a tragedy. I mean, obviously. And not very many bands. I mean, ACDC is one of them, but not very many bands can really pick up and go. I think a lot of bands have broken up for a lot less than what we've been through. But I think yeah. we're just gluttons for punishment. We like no one else will have us, thing. so we're stuck with each other. Well, that's good, though. <laughs> hey, we all gotta have family, can I beat right? Him, join him? <laughs> I don't know. Nah, we love they music. They see us coming, kind of like that Charlie Brown's character, where he's walking around with that dirt cloud. Pig pen? Is that we you? Have, Are you pig like pen, black, Mike? We have a black, a black cloud. <laughs> <laughs> and it just follows and it goes, oh, it comes down a pool, look out. Yeah, even now, with like as much uh, continued success as we had recently, like with 37 Stitches and the Crew Fest, and now I feel like I do it so well, we can't even enjoy it because we're all just waiting. looking over our shoulder, waiting for the next, yeah. next terrible we know thing to fall out of the sky. It's all good Coming now. off a cliff or something's going to, the trailer's going to flip or something's going to happen. You haven't had any flat tires on the trailer? This is weird stuff. Dude, it's like, shut up! up. There's plenty of wood here you can beat on, but I'm sure it's going to happen. <laughs> Would you can beat on? I get it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs>